23. AD returns for the first time since February 16th. He goes for 23, 12, and 6. Russ has 12 and 5 assists. Let's hear from Frank Vogel speak with Mike in the media. Frank, what do you think the difference was down the stretch after you built about a five-point lead with four-ish minutes to go? Yeah, they just made more plays than us. You know, uh, we missed some free throws. They hit a couple tough floaters, uh, B.I. and uh, and McCollum. You know, we had one one breakdown where we didn't get out to Valanciunas. He, he made the three. And, um, you know, we didn't convert, convert offensively down the stretch. You know, we uh, had a couple good looks that didn't go in for us. And... Um, you know, they just made more plays down the stretch. The math starts to get pretty tricky uh, for getting in to that final playing spot at this point, Frank. What's the uh, the mentality there, and what's the level of uh, win as many games as we can? It's going to be tough to catch this team, obviously now, uh, with the lead they have and the tiebreaker. Um, you know, but we have uh, you know we have plenty of time to win as many games as we can down the stretch, and uh, you know see what happens with San Antonio. Frank, how do you feel like AD and LeBron came out of this one, and do you feel like their workload coming off the layoff um, had any effect in terms of fatigue down the stretch? Yeah, I think potentially, um, you know, in terms of those guys making plays down the stretch. But, you know, this is a, you know, playoff mindset type of game. You know, so those guys want to be in there, you know, communicating uh, constantly throughout the game. And, um, you know, I think both of them would say probably not. You know, it's a playoff game. You got to be in there. You got to, you got to compete. Um, Frank, going forward, do you look at your schedule and San Antonio's schedule, or is it just one game at a time for I you guys? I don't look at San Antonio at all. I mean, obviously, we'll find out what their scores look like, but our focus has got to be on you know what we can control, and and that's winning the next game. Frank, um, obviously, any. Any game like this, you have to make tough decisions about rotation. Talon and Austin don't play. You go with Dwight and Avery. Obviously, made that big shot at the end. What was sort of your mentality and who played in this game and and um, who didn't and and what you made of the guys who were able to be in the rotation tonight? Yeah, I mean that's a that's a playoff series, you know, which, which is this is a, a playoff game for us, you know, and so um, you know you you use the roster um, however you f you feel uh, however you see fit in terms of that matchup. You know, and uh, obviously, you know, C.J. McCollum and Brandon Ingram as a as a as a tandem, and and Valanciunas, like those three guys are as good as, you know, just about any any three that you can put together in a league. You know, that's why they're one of the hottest teams in the league, and um, you know that's why we liked what what Avery could bring to the table, using Dwight on on Jonas as much as possible, uh, Stanley some, and um, you know those guys fell out of the rotation because of the matchup. Frank. Um, We've talked a lot about mental toughness with this team and the ability to kind of handle all the adversity that's been thrown at it. Um, out of the gate, turnovers, a big issue down the stretch, missed free throws, turnovers again. Um, how much of that do you think was sort of the moment? Do you think, like, I mean, like you said, I mean, it's the stakes being so high for a group that hasn't really been together? You know, it's tough to say. I mean, yeah, I just think it's a, the nature of the disjointed season that we've had. I mean, these guys haven't been on the floor in six weeks together. You know, and uh, you know, played last night. A tough travel situation, getting in late and having to come in and play an important game today. You know, uh, just just fell short. But you know, th those are little things that there's a difference between winning and losing. You know, turning the basketball over, committing to getting great shots every time down. You know, the defensive execution. You know, of our our, our schemes and our coverages. And um, you know, credit the Pelicans. They played a great game. They knocked down all their free throws. You know, they won a free throw game tonight. And um, you know, the, those two guys made big shots down the stretch. You know, guarded shots. And honestly, throughout the night, you know, CJ and, and Brandon um, made a number of well-guarded pull-up jump shots. You know, which is as a coach, that's that's what you want to. You, know, you have to give something up. You want to give those up. You know, but credit those guys for making big shots. Lakers are down to their final five games, and on Sunday, it's an early one against the Nuggets. The game is at 12:30 on ABC. 